Hey, this is Metal Mike and welcome to the new Metal for Life column. This month's column is called The Power of One and we are talking about making killer riffs based off of one string. Check it out. Okay, so this lick is a almost like violin-like guitar, uh, guitar phrase that is played entirely on the second string. And uh, two main guitar players that come into mind for a guitar lick like this is Ingve Malmsteen and Richie Blackmore. But you can also hear um, Alexi play a lot of stuff like that in Children of Bottom music. Um, that's sort of, they, they double it up with some keyboards um, with a heavy rhythm underneath. So it just adds a lot of cool melody to it. Now let me show you how this lick goes, okay? Check it out. So once again, this whole entire phrase is in the key of E minor, E Olian. And I will tell you more about the picking, but you will see that every single note is alternate picked, except the very end, when you, you'll see some pull-offs. So let me show you the, the first part of it. Let me break this down a little bit slower for you. If you have time, depending on the tempo, you could do a little vibrato here on the 12th fret. The beginning part of this lick begins again. And this is the tail end of it, where I basically pick a note with the pinky, that's a pinky note, and I use a down pick on it, and there's a pull off. I move it down to the seventh position. So this happens quick. So it's a pick, pull off to the note, and you do the same exact thing on the almost fret down. So check this out. And you finish it off on the E. Okay, and the last part of this lick is a double pull off in an eight note triplet pattern. And you have, you pick a note, you pull off to a note, and right here, you pull off to an open string. So check this out, this part goes like this. And you finish on the E. So you have to make sure that you hit that first note strongly enough so you have enough juice to play the other two notes cleanly. That is the most difficult part to execute in this whole lick, I feel, because those triplets come in fairly quickly at the tempo you might be playing this, so you definitely want to get a nice clean sound. So think about that when you practice it. Okay, so this next lick is another single string lick based on eighth notes. We are going to only be using your A string for this particular example. And the rhythm on this is sometimes referred as to three over fours, because you have, the lick is based on the groups of three eighth notes, but you're basically playing them in a straight, you know, regular 4-4 four, four time. So this is kind of cool thing to, uh, to listen to when you hear this example and see how that kind of thing sounds, all right? Check it out. <laughs> Bye. 
Let me break this lick down for you. Straight away, I am going to tell you that this whole lick uses alternate right hand. And uh, palm muting this lick is very important so this lick doesn't sound too jangly. You really want to get a little bit of that. It's almost like a creepy type of uh, creeping up type of sound, for lack of a better word. Let me show this to you, okay? So as you can see, this is sort of like a, a little bit of a white stretch here, moving down a scale pattern, another white stretch. When you move this lick up, an interesting thing happens here, because check this out, you're going with a scale, and then you have a pull-off. It's actually not a pull-off, you're actually hitting you're picking every note, but it's not a like a four note scale pattern. And I use that so you have a nice big interval in there. It kind of opens this lick up. So the interesting thing is, is that you are keeping the lick palm muted and creeping up, but you're using some wider intervals to actually open the sound of the lick up. And this is sort of how you come up with these riffs that are cool and rather not predictable in some ways. Okay, as I'm moving up this lick, I am going to release the palm muting on the fourth bar, which happens to be a bar of 3-4. And then we'll go back to the um, original beginning of the riff. And right here I have a just a four-note scale pattern. And once again, I open this up with a interval skip. It's just a nice way of not having the slick sound like it's just, you know, born out of a particular scale and you're going down the fretboard. Okay, so let's wrap up this column with a final example. I really like the way this example is shaped. It basically has a note and an open string behind it through a, a sets of different strings on the guitar. So you have a picked note and a picked open string. Another picked note and picked open string. So you get this wide variety of sounds. Kind of reminds me of some early Van Halen and um, in some ways reminds me of this Ben Sinek. They do a lot of these kind of crazy cool open sounds. So um, yeah, it's a cool lick. So um, check this out. Okay, so let me teach this to you. I'm basically thinking of the left hand pattern on this as the sort of power chord shapes, really. So when you have this root, fifth, and an octave, and I'm basically thinking of playing an open string following each one of the notes in this little uh, chord pattern, right? And I'm alternating each note with my right hand pick. So you get this nice, cool, nice sound. You move up to the next chord shape and you have a little bit of a, of a shape like this, which I suppose you can analyze and think of this like as, as an E uh, minor chord of, of, of sort. But um, to be honest, I just had my hand in there and it sounded good, so I didn't really overanalyze it too much. So this next section goes like this. <laughs> And I really like this part here where I play the 12th fret on the third string because sometimes as you pick it, your pinky grabs a harmonic and it sort of like really opens this example up. 
Right, so you, you'll see what you mean when you get this uh, riff down a little bit. Moving into the same chord shape as we started it for the third section of this riff. Next part, we move this basically down to the G. And we end at an A note. 